So I've actually used more than my fair share of robot vacuums, but I've never actually done a video on any of them. And that's because I've had a really hard time saying that you should just go out and get one. That finally ends now, I think. This is the Roborock S6, and yeah, that's a really cool name. And as that really cool name implies, it's a robot vacuum. So let's be clear about two things up front here. Number one, Roborock is sponsoring this video. Number two, it is not an inexpensive robot vacuum, but it's really cool. Let's go take a look. All right, this is it, the Roborock S6. It's a $650 robot vacuum. I know it's not cheap, but you know what? I kind of couldn't help think that it looked a whole lot like a spaceship, especially up close like this. Now for the most part, all right, it looks exactly what you'd think this sort of robot vacuum looks like, right? It's round, it's pretty flat, it does robot vacuum-y things. It's got spinny brushes. There's no obvious dust bin though, it's hidden underneath this flap here, that's kind of neat. And there's also a detachable water bin and pad. Now, yeah, that's right, this thing is also a mop. And that spinny orange thing right there in the middle? Yeah, they're lasers. I mean, all right, it's got wall sensors on the side and a bumper on the front to help it find its way around. Again, normal robot vacuum stuff, right? It also has cliff sensors so it won't fall off ledges. I've got those in my house, actually. But the lasers are super cool because the moment you turn this thing on, it starts mapping the world around it. There's a setting that lets you save the maps and define the rooms, and then you just say, hey, Roborock, vacuum this room and that room and that room, and that's it. It won't muck about in the hallways. It won't try to go somewhere you don't want it to go. It'll just do what you tell it to do and then go home. All right, so I also mentioned that the Roborock S6 can be a mop. Now that requires a little more hands-on work, but all you have to do is fill up the tank with water, make sure it's got a clean pad on it, and then just clip the thing into the Roborock S6 base. And then just put it in whatever room you want it to mop. Don't mop your carpet, that would be weird. Now, I don't actually know how much I'm gonna use that part of it because it is a little more work, right? You've gotta fill up the tank, you gotta put the thing on there, you gotta go put it in the room that you wanna mop. If I'm gonna do all that, I might actually just get out the actual mop and then mop with something a little stronger than water, but that's me, your home might be different. But it's a really cool option and it's really well done, really easy to use, and it's a nice thing to have if you want it. Now, there are some things about robot vacuums in general that remain true to the S6, okay? You're still gonna have to empty the dust bin yourself. And I tell you, it does a really good job picking things up. I kind of didn't realize just how disgusting my carpets were most of the time. In fact, I ran it over everything once, and then I ran it over everything again, then I ran it over everything a third time. And I don't blame the vacuum for that at all. It's still picking stuff up. I got a dog, I got kids. It's, it can get a little gross. And because it's a robot vacuum, yeah, it's still gonna occasionally get hung up on things and you're gonna have to go rescue it. It happens. And it'll occasionally complain about the main brush being tangled, but I've never actually found that to be the case when I go and check on it. So I just hit the button again and tell start cleaning. And yeah, like pretty much all the other robot vacuums out there, it's got an app. And the app itself is pretty good. Uh, it's intuitive enough, you're not gonna feel lost or anything. And that's good because you can actually share it with other people you live with, so you're not the only person who can start the vacuum. That's important. Also lets you do things like set timers, that's good. You can update the firmware. Uh, again, control all the rooms. So there's a lot of stuff in there. Take some time and explore it. Simple though. I've also found the S6 to be pretty quiet for robot vacuum. I've definitely had some that have been far louder. I really don't mind letting this thing run in the bedroom when I'm out here watching TV or working or whatever. So that's a really, really nice thing to see or hear or not hear. It's also pretty quick. Uh, on the normal setting, just the default setting, it'll clean my modest size bedroom in about 15 minutes. You can set it for a deep clean or a light clean or a spot clean or whatever. So again, play with the options and it'll do the three bedrooms in our house in yeah, about an hour. I uh, haven't really talked about the base at all, and that's because, well, it's a base, right? It tells the vacuum where to go when it's done, and it's what charges the thing. It does have a really nice little wraparound thing for the cord, so you don't have a bunch of cord hanging out in the room. Love that. All right, look, it doesn't solve all the problems out there. Uh, I still have to pick my clothes up off the floor. I'm bad about that. My kids are really bad about that, right? So you're gonna have to keep the floors clean so you can clean the floors. That's just the way it is. 
And you know, yeah, I don't know that I would throw out a full size vacuum cleaner in favor of this, but here's the thing. If you use it every day and then deep clean every now and then, your home is gonna be so much cleaner. It's amazing how much stuff the S6 picks up. And it's actually a lot less work and takes a lot less time, I think, at least my time, than running the full vacuum. I'm fully on board now and I'm really, really loving the S6. So that's it for the Roborock S6. If you have any more questions on it or on robot vacuums in general, go find me in the comments. I'll be answering them in there. Go find me on the socials, ask away. Happy to help out. This is a really cool sort of thing to have in your home. So that's it for now. Stay tuned. We got a lot more coming. See ya.